Well, judging, judging might be over, but there's still a few days left in October. So, we're going to bury the hatchet of the month. What do you say? This is Bury the Hatchet by Mocha Devs. It is the Halloween 1990X, and you killed someone during your morning shift? It's, uh, yeah. Just normal retail things that happen in the Halloween season. Sometimes you just really want to kill someone, sometimes you just let loose and actually kill someone. You, you, you get to wear a mask all day, but you gotta... Now, you, you, you took out your anger on an unruly customer, and now you gotta keep their body in the back room. While you deal with a uh, true crime fan. Unfortunately. So. We have uh, three main endings to uncover 10 plus unique game overs. We have RPG elements, mini games, and uh, quests to keep an unruly customer unruly customer from discovering the body we have in the back room. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Oh. Can you not hear me with that mask on? I'll just take it off for you then. No, I hear you just fine. Eh? Then you, could, then you could have at least shown some sort of reaction. Like, I'm ready to serve you, master, or something. What sort of place does this person think a gas station is? Anyway, I really, really need that drink. You can see it right behind you on that shelf, so... Be a pal and get it for me, okay, okay? Man, it's too early for this. You're not for the shelf beyond, behind you using Z or Enter. Okay, very good. Do not touch. I am touching. Legendary shelf she was referring to. I'm not paying you to just look at it. Actually, pick it up for me, would you? Just go on and grab it, okay? Hmm. Oh no. Got a lighter. Got cigarettes. Alpaca brand. Got beer. All right. Back. Okay, this is the th okay. This is a neat interaction. Here's your beer, ma'am. Oh my God, yay! N this isn't it. This isn't a special collaboration beer with Idol Miracle Shine! Ma'am, I just got you the one you were pointing at. You just want me to be miserable, don't you? Like the rest of the horrid world I'm accursed to live in. So, get on with it then. Check, check you out? Of course, ma'am. I mean, get on with checking in the back. Find me my actual beer already. It's surely in there, right? Magical forbidden place. Surely my magical beer is in there as well. And not in the magical back room. Besides, can't show up to a college party without it. <laughs> sure, ma'am. I'll go check. Staff only. Um, my special collaboration beer? Where's it? What is this? Oh, hello. Restroom keys. Walkie talkie. Bowie knife. Here's that so called magical back room. Oh! I should at least pretend to check around so she doesn't lose her mind when I come back without it. Flyers for a movie coming out this weekend. I was supposed to put them out, but got distracted. Distracted by, uh. Manager stuff. Don't care. Not interested. Little dust bunnies. Mop in a bucket. 
unfortunately, the only running water we've gotten is in the bathroom, and I don't feel like lugging that over to clean the place. Or the manager's weird little knickknacks. Supposedly expired soda, but still tastes good to me. Yeah, those expiration dates are suggestions. But what do you know? Guess it was here all along. Funny I didn't notice it beforehand. Special edition beer! Oh, hi there! Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. I already have her stupid beer. I'll get it to her before she blows. Or the back there's more storage. I don't need to go back there right now. Just casually, uh... There's a smiley face in the blood. Oh dear. And here's... And there it is! Finally! After five gazillion years! Any longer I'd have called you for your manager. And you would hate that, wouldn't you? It's not as if he cares most of the time, but... Him coming in today would be... Not ideal. Oh, he's just like me, for real, for real. Appreciate the gesture, ma'am. That'll round up, too. Payment, I know, I know, don't worry, pleb. Keep the change. She didn't even pay enough. Uh. I well, better clean up the mess back there before anyone else comes in. Tabloids, snacks. Oh. Serial killer tabloid. What's this? Rockstar article. Missing person newspaper. Store sections behind the counter, under the counter, magazine shelf, stock shelf, car shelf. Oh, is this a list of all the interactable areas? Mm -hmm. Him. If I hadn't tried up my debit card years ago, I could withdraw stuff from here. Oh well. Bathroom stall. I don't get paid enough to keep clean it, so I usually just keep it locked up. Up in a bucket. Fortunately, the running water water has got the bathroom to feel like mop the. Hmm. Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Keeping you here wouldn't be my first choice normally, but you're gonna need to wait till after my shift. For now. That'll do. Time for six more hours of the. This mask is. Fuck it, I'll just. Ah, there we go. Got some dust stuck up there, stuck up in there or something. Oh. 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 My god. Okay, she needs to die. You... You killed Courtney. This sucks. Two of them. Two bodies that I need to store in the back room. You've got that scar on your face. I don't think anyone else is in the store right now, so if I'm quick about it, it should be fine. That means you must be. Alrighty, here goes. The absolutely wicked and awesome Bearwater Grizzly Killer, aren't you? I'm like your number one fan! Huh. I mean, okay, uh, Hellspawn32 claims he's your biggest fan because he actually went to the site of the first murder you actually laid claim to, but I'm calling bull on that one. And now I've actually met you, so that's nothing compared to whatever parasocial lunacy he's on. Oh no. Huh. Besides, in my opinion, I'm in the camp that believes that the trailer park killings weren't on you. 
Cause like, look, see, give me, give me a sec. I'm checking fervently. Uh oh, what? Store stuff in there? Here we go. As you can see from one of the first newspaper clippings of the event, the cuts were all crisscrossed, and that's your whole thing. Can't make your debut without your signature prepared, right? Uh, no, those were me. Oh, really? Damn it. If he doesn't know he won the bet, I don't owe him, right? I. Uh, okay, never mind that. Listen, kid. I'm not a kid, I'm 21 years young. Which is the thing that old people say once they're trying to deny the fact that they're old, so I must be old. <laughs> <sighs> so, what's your name? Oh, my name. Oh, yeah, I'm Pearl. Pearl! <laughs> it's literally the biggest honor to be able to meet you. Oh no. Pearl got, Pearl got, Pearl got up to some uh, concerning hobbies when she uh, left for college. Maya, please, get a handle on this girl. I know I seem chiller than chill, but I'm really bugging right now. So, you're not gonna sell me out. Huh? Are you for real, silly? I mean, sorry, but why the hell do I do that? I'm meeting my idol right now. Or at least I think I am. I've got the right scars, but Courtney's body doesn't seem to be all hatcheted. And it seems way more knife-stabbed. Way, way more knife-stabbed. Stabbed. I didn't get the wrong guy, did I? No, it's still me. Okay, yay. FYI, I'm the creator of your Geosides fan page. It's all me, if you're curious. I'm not exactly a coder, so paying someone to do that took a pretty penny. Okay, whatever, just give me a second to think about this. Of course, of course. <sighs> yeah, you can live. Oh my god, yay! I mean, if you wanted to kill me, it would definitely be the best way to go out. My only request was, would be that you don't hide my body so that I'm on the news, but I get to stay alive. Yippee! <laughs> I've got some questions to ask you about the girl, though. Oh, Courtney? You're not planning on keeping her here, right? I mean, good thing that I was the one who wanted in here. But if you're not careful, someone else, someone else will get a nice eyeful of her. And I'm, you know, not like the other girls. Heh. <laughs> I'm quirky and into true crime. So they won't have the same reaction as me. I agree. That's why I... Um, you mean we, right? Please, let me hide the body. Please, 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 please. Oh, no, Pearl. No. Please, 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 please. Kid, I don't have the time for... Not a kid. Whatever. Listen, I understand the woes of modern capitalism. You can't do your shift and hide a body at the same time, right? Two people are better than one. More people involved, more tongues that might wag. Come on, you think I'd rat you out? Really? You won't brag on some form that you helped me hide a body? Activity <laughs> tempted. That's what I thought. Hey, is there anyone actually working here? Hello? Might as well walk off with all this stuff, then. Hmm? Please. Please, that, please, at least let me mop up the blood. Please. Okay, okay, fine. Just... What? Where'd you get that guitar? Yippee! Yes, yes, yes! Keep quiet. Okay, rock on, Dish. This will be clean as a whistle when you get back. Oh, boy. Obviously, she needs to die, but later rather than sooner. She's useful for now, and I'm on the clock. If only killing paid better. Um, hello, hello. We need help here. Please? Uh, yeah, coming. Small child? You said please. You must die, too. Hey. Give us all your money. I'm not afraid to put up a fight. Come on, open up the cash register. What will you do if I don't? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll beat you up. Okay, go ahead. Ah, you're too intimidating. And you have mask, too. It's no fair. Get us an energy drink to even out the odds. I can't be bothered arguing with children. Just a sec. Oh, oh. About to be timed by the customer's patience. You need to find what the customer wants. There are tons of six different places that items could be. And the counter. Sure, but under the counter as well as in the shelves. Okay. Is the dreaded fellow let me talk to your manager? In this situation, you do not have the trump card of being your own manager. Manager gets called. 
is going to come down and discover the body you've hidden in the back room. This is unideal, so make sure to serve everyone quickly. Ready? Then go! You're gonna be irresponsible. There you go, have some beer, kid. Ah! You don't have the energy drink yet, you'll be the stuff. Go get it! Acid trip. No. Oh no, oh no, you're gonna beat us up! Or call the police, no! Definitely won't be doing that. Um, we're gonna call the manager on you for attacking kids. We're going on our phones. This is how we can still win. Dad! Game over. Need milk. Oh no. All right. There you go. Want to try beating me up now? You're too scary. Bye bye. Hmm, Angie Ghost. Well, I'm in the store, a bunch of people are gonna end up coming for help. See for usual. Hmm. On that note, Psst, Grizz, kid. Shh. Listen, I need some sort of way to talk to you while you're out front. You have a walkie talkie or something making news? Just slide right under the door. Wanna be a little big for under the door exchanges? Shh. We're seeing it place conveniently under that orange cone you've got on the counter. Just get it fast. Oh. We're on the clock here. So I'm not if you fail this. I'm digging this music though, not gonna lie. To the gas here. Headlight fluid, tire kit, gas can. It's taking so long. I just go out there myself. Oh no. Oh. Oh, okay. So we just get busted. Understandable. Oggy talk. Yay, thanks so much. I'll treasure this forever and ever and tuck it in bed at night, at night or something. Hmm? Oh no. What? Hey. Uh. <laughs> you got anything special in the back rooms? If you get my drift, uh. <laughs> See, onto something. She didn't text her true crime form friends, did she? I'm sure it's like, yeah, uh, super easy for you to sneak in grass into a job like this, right? I'll, uh, pay a lot. None of that, sorry. Man, I accidentally gave the rest of mine to a trick-or-treater. Oh no! Not the dreaded spiked, not the dreaded spiked candy! Oh, this sucks. My kid came home with a baggy of oregano. Be aware, everybody. Oh, this sucks. Can I get some gummies? Just convince myself they're edibles. The only gummies, gummies that we sell here are some sour brain worms, sir. Worms with a Z. Get it right. It's an important distinction. Also... That is also what we call homeopathic, uh, edibles. Yeah, I'll take those instead, then. And yeah, 
go, go get it. Just want to hang out here, man. Man. Pretty strong stuff if just a bit made you act like this. You bet, ma'am. With the gummies, yeah? Alright. Super sour! Sweet and sour gummies! Here we go, 279, please. Hope this makes up for things. Ah, uh, I bet it will. Happy Halloween, masked madam. Whew, starting to slow down. Should be able to check it on Pearl after this group clears out. Uh oh, you look like you look like a jock. Hey, yo, I'll be taking three of these, please. Okay, that's twelve thirty-four, sir. Got it. Got it. Know what's going on with you, though? What you must be thinking right now? Hmm? Find three boxes of chocolate. Man, must be on my cheat day or something. No, 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 no. It's much worse. I got broken up with. You see, my girl's mad at me. Oh, I see. Just look at how cute she is. Oh, I love you. I don't know what I did to pick her up, but she didn't pick up any of my calls this morning. We always call together during breakfast. We never skip swinging on the flippity flop. So that's what that one. And on Halloween of all days, what about our outfit coordination? We need to decide that together. On the morning itself. I must have done something absolutely unforgivable to piss her off. What if the crab? I hope that this will begin to show up some of my remorse. Some of my remorse to Courtney. Well, uh, I'll see her during class. Uh, if I cry in front of her, hopefully she'll take me back. Ah, prime tactic. Good luck. Anyway, happy Halloween. Ah. Uh, that stain under the door there. Is that, uh... that time of the month. Uh, uh my bad. <laughs> that could mean one of many things. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to talk to Pearl. Hey, Pearl, question for you. Oh my gosh, of course. Anything can you do to be of service to... This girl. You said her name was Courtney, right? Oh! Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. Oh dear. Yep. Yeah. Was she dating anyone? Ah, uh, not yet. I guess never now, but she and Brandon were goo goo for each other. Vomit inducing, if you ask me. Freaking metrosexual. Uh, hey now, Pearl. I'm stupidly excited to see his face when he finds out, though. Heh. <laughs> why do you ask? Fairly certain I saw him just now. Oh my god, really? Uh, he's got really bad roots. Some of the most pathetic eyes I've ever seen in my life. A big pink jacket. Oh, yeah, that tacky thing. As always. More concerningly, he saw blood leaking out front of the door. I guess we'll have to kill him now, don't we? I played it up once he realizes he's actually missing. Yeah, don't sweat it. He's far too numbskull to remember. Anyway, we're bonded now, and gotten to know each other. I've helped you hide a body and all, and now you owe me, so... Owe oh, you? You begged me to let you help me. You've gotta come to one of our shows, okay? What? what? Please, you owe me! I gotta go deal with... Please, 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 please. <sighs> Be completely honest. Hey, about it. Okay. You can tell me about your band while I work. Hand me that salt, would you? Oh, not your hatchet still? I mean, of course. Okay, so, 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 there, there's, there are four of us. Uh, I'm Amy, and Daisy on keys, Violet on bass, and of course, uh, me on guitar and uh, lead vocals, huh? <laughs> After all, it's the bands. If the bands called Death of Venus, it's destined that the person named Pearl lead it, right? 
Since that Venus chick comes out of an oyster and all. Oh, and did you guys inherit the band, or is it... And it's named from someone else? What? No, I named it and founded it. Huh. Anyway, we got big plans coming up. His brother works at Duncan, and he's trying to pull some strings so he can perform there. So at Duncan? We've been preparing for so long. It's actually getting and so actually getting to perform in front of people. I'm so buzzed, I can hardly stand it. Bad for you. Hey, can you pass me that rag? Huh? Oh, of course. Hey, while I have you here, can I run a few lyrics by you? Not exactly a lyricist. Eh, the words themselves aren't the point. It's all about the emotions. I don't even know if this speaks to you at all. Ahem. Walk the line, keep it step, do it all, no missteps. You're rubbing step with steps. Still you look, and you frown. No matter what in your mind, I'll always drown. So? Oh, is that all? For now, it's obviously a work in progress. But, um, what do you think? Hmm. Pass me the bucket first. Okay. Well. You rhyme step with misstep. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because they rhyme. Well. Besides, what are the emotions? My emotions! Er, I mean, it could be anyone's emotions. Listen, Pearl. There's no point in being so anxious over my opinion. You're writing lyrics about feeling judged. Why do you want others to judge them? The feeling that I hate being judged gets across. Yes! Guess it's a pretty standard young person angst then. <laughs> I'm so glad I could talk to you about it. There, let's all your limbs hacked off. Man, man, oh man, 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 Can you see the bear water grizzly killer bark in person? Such a dream! Wait till XX Grunge Fan 54XX finds out! I mean, I mean, not that I would tell of No, of course, of course. Having a special little secret between the two of us is far more special. It's far more special is not getting caught. Listen, I need to stay at the gas station for the rest of my shift. That's going to last all the way into the evening. Afterwards, we're going to use your... Wait, wait, wait. I get to be a part of your plan? Yes, I mean, you're already a part of it, aren't you? <laughs> Well, we're using your case to transport the body. It's Halloween, so props like that can pass without suspicion. Nice that you made it, ma nice that you made it work with your costume. Huh? Costume? This is how I always dress. And my case already has my baby in it, okay? Your baby. My guitar. Wait, can't you just... Damn it. Hey, yeah, it's okay. We're finding some new way to transport the body while you serve customers, okay? Leave it to old Pearl. I, uh, whatever. I'll be back. Please do. I take a second to catch my breath if I need to. Customers shouldn't bother me until I start messing around with the counter at the very least. Oh no. Not another, not another tot. God damn it, tot. Oh no! You're cute! Hey, a monster! Can you protect me? Um... Can he do something? Not a monster, this is a mask. Guess she should be scared, though. Oh, okay. In that case. Wow, you calmed down quick. Your voice sounds friendly. Hehe. <laughs> need some milk for me and my kitty? It's the last ingredient we need for a special Halloween potion. It'll turn my kitty into a great warrior. He didn't seem to do much to protect you just now. I know, he's helpless! He needs milk and to complete the potion! Obviously! I'm sure the milk will help. I don't know where it is. Go get it! Help me! Please! No thing. Alright, milk obtained. Uh, that'll be 158. Yay, thank you! I'll complete my potion now. Good kid. I need your bathroom, please, thank you! You beat that, could you? I need to pee! I need to pee! Please! Let me pee! Let me get that key for you. Oh my god, thank you! Hurry! Don't get too excited. Don't want to mess in this place. Have I seen this guy's face before? Restroom keys. There's a caution sign on it. I 
game, of course. Uh, naturally. Going to make him suffer. It's all over for me! In fact, it's also all over for you. It's the smell. I'm suing. <laughs> okay, understandable. Alright. Sir, your keys. I just realized they're attached to the caution sign on the top of the counter. Alright, take your keys. Before you go, are you... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Happy Halloween, thank you! Oh. And he's gone. Alright, who's next? Oh, oh. Hello, officer. There's no way she called the cops, right? Hello, officer, what can I get you? Shit, he's awfully quiet. Happy Halloween! Yippee, yay, yay, I love Halloween. Really getting into the spirit this year. I'm dressing up as something really spooky. A cop. A cop? Boo. Anything you need? This could all be a play. I really want to get into this costume. Want to get me a serial killer related tabloid pronto? Oh god. I'll point at people in it and discuss their irredeemability. Won't that really sell my costume? I'll get that tabloid for you. Oh boy. That was you, right? So you'll get a tabloid. Any little thing. That is. I'm mainly curious to see what the what the fake cop how the fake cop reacts. That gets us in trouble. With the real cops. You've ruined my costume. What? I'm sure your manager can find this item for me. Very sorry if that is inconveniences you. Great. A real cop will arrive at any point. Yeah, okay. That's fair. I love that expression on Pearl's face. She's so silly. A grizzly killer, huh? How about in jail? I'll be on the way. Hee hee hee. Oh no, he's back. Ah, I would like to return this. Oh my god, if these open boxes of chocolates. No, I don't think we can do that, sir. But I couldn't even give him to my girl! She wasn't even at school today. I asked all her friends, but no one has seen her. Oh, she's even got the broken heart pendant. Ma'am, my girl is so mad at me. She doesn't want me to be around me at all. I've got to repair her broken heart. I'm so miserable. Sorry to hear all that, sir. <laughs> Not like someone like you would ever understand what I'm going through. I'm really digging this soundtrack. <laughs> this dude, I swear. She's my whole world. Not my whole universe. Hey, Grizz. Oh my god. All the timing, Pearl. Hi, Grizz. I blinked out this bald box you had back there to... Oh, random. Pearl. Stupid. Uh, stupid Pearl. This your band's really, truly selling well. This is where you've ended up. Got the whole Tom Tom Club over here. Huh, at least I have a club. Seems like even Lane, Lane needs ditched you in your rat's nest of a haircut. Oh, great. Hey, whatever's going on between Courtney and I, none of your business, Lane Stain. I'm be more worried about getting all that gross, uh, whatever that is on your boots off. Uh, huh. Hey, Brandum, do you want to know what's on me? So I pinky promise that you'll hate the answer. Let's phrase it as getting rather intimate with. And it's my lunch break, so you can go now. What? Good day, sir. Oh, jeez, okay, I'll get out of your hair. Good job, Pearl. Hmm, you see the look at his face? Pathetic. Anyway, I'd like to dazzle the box and... What the hell is wrong with you? Um, what? 
Telling him that we killed his girlfriend right in front of his face? Well, technically, the, the body is right there. Right there, just a few steps away. It's the middle of the day. He makes a fuss of things. It's over. We're caught and shipped off. I don't know what stupid little vendetta you guys have with each other, but you need to stop it, get yourself together, and actually do what I say. Oh, okay. That's what you want too, right? Just for me to shut up and obey you? To do what you want? Ah, uh, freaking figures that you're all the same. Whatever. <sighs> hmm. I'm... She'll probably tire herself out and get over it. Got the bear trap set up. I... What? Well, this one ends up coming into the back. That'd be super duper bad, right? I mean, of course, but... So, bear traps. And... Didn't happen to have stolen them for the manager's stash, did you? So long as the manager's stash wasn't that box of them just lying around in the back. Yeah. Come on, if we actually end up using them up, we can just reset them and clean them up. No one will be any the wiser. I... Fair enough. Speaking of which, I should actually work on packing up that body into my wonderfully bedazzled, bedazzled box. Rock on! Well, I thought she's gotten herself back into a good mood. Next wave of customers is probably going to hit any second now, so back to the grind. Alright. She teaches them the virtue of patience. Alright. Bowie knife. This is surely not... Wait. Did, did... did I just... Did I lose the customer? Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Man, my car broke down. I'm totally sick of cars, man. My girlfriend, she's amazing. Got me into this whole prairie dog lifestyle. She even bakes bread for me and stuff. She's the perfect chic. She got you in the cowboy outfit for Halloween, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I'm an investment banker, but she wants me to be a bit more rough. Uh, and now my goddamn tires broke down. Help a guy out and fetch some tire repair thingy for me, okay? I'll give you a bonus and everything. Oh, oh, you teleported back. Oh, dear. Tire repair kit. New. There you go, 921, please. Hate the change. Man, maybe I'll drive real far away. Way deep into the country with this thing and my lady. Oh, my kid, I love money too much. Oh, my girl's waiting. See ya. I mean, you, I'm sure, Mr. Investment Banker, you have the PTO to take a week or two off, and oh my god, it's the. Uh, What's his face? William Shakespeare from uh, Greatest Attorney 2. Hello, benevolent service worker. How can I help you? I'm so to see the masses participating in Old Hallows Eve. Sure. How can I help you? Master Maiden, may you assist me with something deeply private? The truth is. I. I. And you have me a tabloid discussing the latest news on uh, society's elite. I know that influence and define our cultural norms. So they're tabloid. You want a pop star tabloid? We have plenty. Yes, I know that they are indicative of low culture, but the gorgeous bodies on display and most riveting melodies captivate me. I am the masses. What's so different to you and I? I'm not so sure. Let me get a tabloid for you. That interview, interview, Chip, Chip McDream, Chick Mc, Chip McDreamy. Hey, oh, that is the, that is the pisk. <laughs> no wonder he sued us when we didn't give him the bathroom key. He's fucking Chip McDreamy face. Hey, isn't that the piss guy from earlier today? There we go. Enjoy your degenerate tabloid. 
Your words are poison. Quill upon the parchment of my flesh. 984, please. I'm the one, too. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, who's next? Kid? Many kids. Hi. Hello. Hey. I'm gonna get you. Woohoo! You did say Happy Halloween! We hate Halloween. We're protesting against it. Your costumes seem to suggest otherwise. Well, we didn't hate Halloween a few hours ago. But we ate way too much candy and we threw up! Can you believe that? All three of us threw up! What if it was that guy's... Uh, that guy's candy? So now we hate Halloween! We need your help to stop it! Give us water now! How will that end a centuries-long tradition exactly? We're replacing Hallow, whatever that is, with something even more crucial to the human essence! Hallow water? That's right! Waterween! Humans need water! So we're starting Waterween! Water! No! Well, okay. Water it is! I have nothing if not diligent. Waterween will reign supreme. We need much to live. Waterween! 113, please. Please, for the beginning of a rev. Pennies for the beginning of a, re of a revolution. Waterween! Happy Waterween? Alright, who's next? Oh! I'm digging your design. I'm so sick of doing this everywhere. What? Buying crap at the gas station? You can't even be cordial about it. Give me info on missing people, okay? Did you make it disappear? Because you're a magician. I want to try and enjoy Halloween despite all the stuff going on in my life, okay? <laughs> so get me so get me some news about people who have it worse than me. Please go fetch that tabloid for me, alright? I deserve to live a normal life. Okay, Yoshikagi Kira. Calm down. Missing person newspaper. I'll get you your bloody newspaper. Same as always, no info to find. Okay, you're looking for someone. What happened to my magician? I'll pull you out of my hat soon enough. It's raining, huh? Bummer for any trick-or-treaters, I guess. <laughs> it's time to check in on... Eh? Ah! Uh, what's wrong? Did something happen? I freaking dropped Courtney! Ah! Uh. I mean, it seems like she's still insane. So many of the jewels fell everywhere. All the little bedazzlements I painstakingly put on, they fell off. I'm so... Ah! We'll help. Don't worry, I've got... Don't patronize me. You are... Mostly distraught and a bit irrational about it. This is so... Ah! Uh, of course people only, people only look at me when I mess up. You can't stand out in marching band and just blare the wrong note. Duh. Hey. That aside, I mean, Wacky doesn't even, be, doesn't even begin to cover it, right? It's pretty weird for someone to want to help a serial killer, right? Pretty out of the ordinary not to be phased by a serial killer chopping my classmate's body, bad blood or not, right? So, I'm so... Ugh. Not this bad, but not so upset she tired herself out. I thought... I really thought for a while. If I actually tried to follow what other people said, I'd get the right kinds of eyes on me. It's really hard to think for yourself, after all. When you make your own decisions, if things go badly, the fault lies with you. So why didn't things turn out well? Why was everyone still getting mad at me? Wasn't I doing what they asked? Why couldn't they just look at... Not that it matters, anyhow, anymore. Hey, I have another question for you. Sure, shoot. Where's your hatchet? always killed with a hatchet. Even when your little trademarks came and went, there was always, always a hatchet. Thought it was kind of odd you hadn't been using it up until now, but I figured. Courtney took her, took you by surprise, so killing her with a knife was just convenient. It's quicker to saw through bones with an actual saw at around a time crunch. I feel like it's a little too absent. Oh no. You don't have to answer me. 
Well, I'm just some fangirl that you met earlier this morning. If I'm right on your reasoning as to why you're not using a, why you're not using the hatchet, hey, for real now. We're never actually, we're never going to actually succeed in hiding this body, are we? Don't think you ever thought you were going to, even on your own. For this, all your killings were far, far from the city. That's probably how you managed to get away with it all, right? Perfectly controlled. So a situation like this probably isn't ideal. Probably th you probably thought you could hide the city, huh? So many people, and no one's looking for a country bumpkin killer in concrete. Pretty lucky that anyone's looking at all, huh? Mm -hmm. Egg. Pearl. Mm -hmm. I use the hatchet because it's what I'm most comfortable with. That's all. There's nothing special about it. It's just a tool. But, well, like you kind of said, it became a signature. It became recognizable. Is that part of the point to a lot of serial killers, though? To have one so people know who you are? You're a symbol for all freaks. There's, like, drama on forums about you guys getting way too much attention, really. Oh, I hate that shit. Prefer it if no one had found any of my bodies. Ah. Look. All due respect, I never wanted to involve anyone else, especially not someone like you. Huh? Someone like me? What the hell's that supposed to mean? Someone so desperate to be found. <laughs> I guess it is a little ironic then. Oh. Oh, you're in the middle of something. Hey, don't shout. Just give me a sec. Kidoki. Welcome, whatever. How can I? Oh no, it's you. Um, uh, hi again. Sorry to bother you. I just uh, wanted to talk to Pearl, if that's possible. She's not here. Oh, is that the case? Uh, huh. Listen, I'm, I'm kind of stressed, you know. I called Courtney's parents because. We're chill and all, but, uh... I say that she w left home early to get some last-minute costume supplies or something, and just never came back. I assume she decided to go straight to school after buying stuff, but, uh... She didn't. No one's seen her at all. All day. No matter how much I ask. The only person that so much has joked about seeing her is Pearl. So... Even though it's probably a stretch, I gotta ask, you know? If you know where she went or whatever, that'd be great. It's being pointed in the right direction, please? Yeah, beats me. Really? Yeah, I don't know, sorry. Oh, okay, uh, thanks anyway. <laughs> Try stopping by the... Oh my god, Pearl, you have the worst fucking timing in the world. I I care you, but... You have the worst timing in the world. This is coming in the walkie-talkie I asked for earlier. It's me, Pearl, the one and only. Can I have some help back here again, please? You freaking liar, huh? Hey, wait a second. Uh-oh. Let me through. Just all calm down, okay? Just want to talk to Pearl. It's no big deal, okay? <laughs> Shit. I find something to deal with him. Now. Oh, God. Earl, are you? Uh, I see. Well, hey, so um, hi, Courtney. She's, uh, yeah, deader than a doornail. Funny how that works. I'm super sorry or something that this is how you found out, but like, uh, hey, plenty of fish in the sea, right? I guess he wouldn't dwell on it too much. I'm gonna kill you! I'm seriously, for real, gonna kill you! I knew you were a sick freak, but to take it like... Uh, hey! You... You just tried to kill me, didn't you? Freaking jock types. Can't just make this easy, can you? You... You bitch! You think you are gonna stop me? I'm getting out of here and calling the fucking cops! Ugh. I'm the first pick quarterback. I'll have you know you and what you did to Cor Courtney. Fuck! 
Oh, shut up. Oh, oh, oh god. I, I gotta get out of here. That look is intense. Can't let him get out. That's like, assumes bad. I know that, Pearl. Jeez, kids. Oh boy. Final boss. Get over here. You fucker. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, you stabbed him. Not well enough. Seriously, you jock types. You freaking chocolate-headed pieces of shit. Oh, I guess so. He's thinking off now. Don't worry. He's not getting far at this point. Come on. <sighs> the door. No, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This can't. This needs to open. It needs to. Listen, kid. Fuck off! It's really nothing personal. In fact, I prefer not to do this. But you and I both know you wouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut. This is how it's gonna have to be. Yeah, Chris is gonna kill you dead. Pearl? Sorry, zipping mouth. You two. You gotta be bugging. How can you? How can you act so. so. so pretentious? You fucking killed my girl, and for what? Oh, all that people like you guys are good for are good at is ruining lives. What the hell did she? Did I do wrong? Like for real? Was it the wrong place, wrong time? Did she say something to tick you off? Seriously, why'd she have to die? Huh? What you looking at? Hmm? This thing? The hatchet? That? Uh oh. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't like me grabbing hold of this, huh? <laughs> you two, you're weak enough, right? And I'm strong enough. Hey, if it's to avenge Courtney, I can... God, you won't shut up, will you? Still just need to help you with that, I guess. Wait, Pearl. Like this! N no! I've gotta... gotta say. That was exceptionally stupid of you. Stupid Pearl. Let go of me! You seriously bit me. Gross ass. But not I. Freaking got you, you freak. Oh, God. You absolute brickhead. Well, Grizz, was it? I'll do it. I'll kill her. I'll do it. You know I will. We've done it before this. But now that Frith, this freak show's gone and... That Courtney's... My girl... Get over her! She's been dead for hours now, you loser! Shut up! You. You freaking monster! We're going to let me out of here. Alive. We're going to open the door and let me out of the back, or she gets it. Or, huh? Wait. Rude we to assume that you actually care about her, right? She's a freak, after all, even by your standards. God, if you care at all about having blood on your hands anymore, you'll... Whatever. What's it gonna be? Oh boy, final decision. So there's three endings here. Can't let you leave here, no matter what. So no keys? You're fine with stupid Pearl dying, then? Whatever. Do it. Huh? You think I won't? Ugh. I will. I really, really will. Is that so? I've been doing it. What? Well, shit. All right. Thank damn it, Pearl. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, see? I did it. I actually... Huh? Now you're dead, too. Damn it. One was hard enough, but three of them... Just things always need to work out this way. Had to get started then. The first time was an accident. The second and third were too. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, not so much. At some point I had begun to wonder if my capacity for it all was endless. I held no ill will against these people. I did not kill them because I enjoyed it. I did not even kill them for any sort of reward. 
People kept dying by my hat because it was convenient. They'd practically fall onto it. At the end, it wasn't even any sort of morality that caused me to stop. Killing, if you're realistic about it, just doesn't pay well. Ah, oh, Miss Link, please do come in. I'm very excited to interview you. The application was very strong. Honestly, somewhat unrealistically so. <laughs> we need all the help we can get around this season, and you seem wonderful. That being said, I must ask, are you feeling sick? If you're under the weather, we can reschedule this for later. Why do I ask? You're wearing that medi medical mask, after all. Ah, uh, well, isn't any of my business. They only end up asking around here, we into the investigation because someone remembers Brandon mentioning returning the chocolates he got. They mentioned Courtney in passing during questions. The only sign anyone noticed that Pearl is missing is a crappy handmade poster her bandmates put Oh. Have you seen this girl? Bad end. Capacity. God, that stings. That stings. Damn it! I think I'm, I think I actually I think I let him escape. He got away. Oh, okay. That's just game over. Fair enough. Oh damn it! I, I literally, I literally tried to camp on him, but <laughs> shit! All right, there we go. I just ran right into him this time. Locked out. All right, so this time, we'll give him the keys. Sure. All right. Don't try to, huh? You're, you're really just giving them to me? You're not letting go of the, you're not letting go of the girl otherwise, right? Don't! No, I'm not. There you have it, then. By your feet. God! I can breathe again, huh? Holy shit. Seriously, get to leave? When the cops hear about this, they're, they're gonna get your asses! Shh. Man. Here we... You know, I thought it would... I, you know, I thought it would be common sense not to turn your back on a serial killer. Guess not. You <laughs> little... Ah, oh, please, I... Yeah. There we go. Oh my god, you didn't... You didn't... Sure. Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey! Oh, that hurts. Oh, good! Got bear trapped. I'm... Okay, I'm gonna get you out, okay? I can... I can... No, it's fine. I wasn't looking where I was stepping. <sighs> Guess I should have paid more attention to you. Huh. Okay. Whew. All right. Here this. Should I saw your foot off? I can, I can do it if I just close my. Hi. Shut up and listen. Listen to me, all right? No one knew you were here, right? You didn't tell anyone. No, but I don't think you, anybody saw you during my shift. Okay. Huh. Whew. Take the keys. Open the back door and then toss them under once you go. I can close it up after you and. And leave you to die? I'm not going to die. I'm just stuck. But you, but nothing. You can hide yourself easy. No one's going to try and find out what they're not looking for. I'm doing this solo for years now. It'd be weird to start now. What about when they find you? I'll have to deal with being found, I guess. Now go. Go, go now. We have to. We have taken a liking to Pearl. We we don't want her to get involved with this life because she's just a. Se She's just a sad girl who's tried for too long to fit in and been shamed and ridiculed for trying to fit in. Like then, on that day, couldn't make myself open up my umbrella. Just kept coming down and down and down. Let the rain wash everything away. At that sense, I was probably being selfish. There wasn't anyone there to see me, but regardless, I couldn't use that umbrella to hide from the night sky. I needed it, I needed it all gone. Near the blood not just hidden, but destroyed. Think something, it's better to be hated than forgotten. I don't really agree with that, but it doesn't look like I have a choice in that anymore. Ah, bad luck. Hey! Caught, but... Pearl gets to live. Now we have to do a bit of legwork, too. 
probably unlock other endings. Feels like we can obviously avoid this one if we, uh... As long as we do not, uh... I should, I should say, we should not leave Pearl up to our own devices earlier on. I wonder if we don't spend... If we don't spend the time to empathize with Pearl, if we don't even get the option to save to throw the keys and save her. You focus on hiding the body. Look, we can talk about it after we clean up this mess. But if I owe you, then I owe you. But there's bigger problems to be had right now. Hmm. Okay. Better on the same page. Hand me that to solve it, would you? We saw the body in silence, which I think is uncharacteristic of Pearl, but maybe I just don't know her well enough. Alright. I just realized that this tabloid is about us. It's got the scars on our face, which is what Grizz here is trying to cover up. By wearing the mask to our interview, by wearing this mask all day in, day out. And why Pearl immediately recognized her when she took off her ma- her, uh, rabbit head. Oh no. Alright, this time we're gonna go after her. Don't want her to freak out and cause more problems. Taking the time to at least try having a conversation with her is probably best. Uh. Oh, hi. Um, uh, look, like I said, the box completely blinged out and bedazzled. Yeah, uh, guess that you've disguised it pretty well. Right? <laughs> um, hey, sorry if I stood on some toes earlier. It's just, you do understand why telling people you're hiding Courtney's body right now is bad, right? <laughs> Duh. Hmm. Hey, Chris, question for you. Hmm? Do you actually think we can hide Courtney's body? Hmm. Okay, given how every body of yours they find seems to be a shoddier and shoddier attempt at hiding it, I don't think that's the case, right? All this extra work that you're putting into dismembering her and stuff feels kind of desperate, almost. I think the truth is... You're pretty bad at hiding bodies. Oh, you can hide that it was you, I'm pretty sure. You're pretty good at managing, managing to, to detach yourself from the problem at hand. The problem at hand stays. And so you're still here, too. That's why your hatchet is nowhere to be found, right? No one is going to find Courtney's body. So don't worry about it. Okay. Yay. You know what you're doing far more than I do, so I'll trust you. In that case, protection is key, right? Which is why I've got... These. Oh, dear. Bear traps. Yep. From your case. Now I'm just keeping them here for, for, for a second for convenience. I found them lying around the back. Are they not yours? No, the manager is just really into hunting. Hmm, I see. Any of that, anyhow, I think it'd be wrong not to make use of them. Gotta help them make use of their life's purpose. To... To... Right. As long as you're confident, you can tidy up all of them after the fact. Like all these traps set up for seemingly no reason is not gonna do us favors after the fact. Okie dokie. Anyway, so there's, like, there's this thing that's been really stressing me out, so can I vent to you about it? Hand right back at it like nothing happened. Good for her. Sure. Tell me about it while I set up the bear traps. It's your thing, boss. Like, there are four members of my band, right? Including me. I forget if I mentioned that already. Well, uh-huh. The problem is, Amy is, like, honestly, really mediocre at drums. That and she doesn't show up half the time. Uh-huh. Pass me to the trap. Yep, yep. I heard from someone somewhere that when you're working in a creative field, you need to be two or three things, right, okay? Pleasant to work with, always on time, and be absolutely amazing at what you do. So Amy's only one of those. And like, love her to death, but the only thing Amy's good at is making freaking amazing Strawberry Romanoff. Like seriously, I'd kill for it. Uh-huh, pass me another one. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, there's the decorated box. Oh, that's cute. Basically, it's only a matter of time before I break the news to her, but I don't want to have anyone else to ask to do it in her stead. We can't be without a drummer. It's, it's, it's like lame. So I was thinking, after all this, since you have the arms for it, what if you wanted to do it? Uh-huh, pass me that. 
Oh my god, really? I figured I, I need to convince you, but this is so awesome! <laughs> it's gonna be, gonna be so cool to... Nope, sorry, I misspoke. Huh? Oh, she said something else. You know I can't be doing that. But you already said yes, and now I'm saying no. What the heck? I should have said no take backsies first, ugh. This girl. Hello. Can I, like, buy this or something? Even though you totally just broke my heart, no worries. You go on and you go on and help him. I will set up more traps in the meantime. Right. Now we know where we laid out certain traps. Use them the virtue of patience. Oh, so you are... So do you just naturally spawn out here then? Interesting. Well, let her handle it. She probably, she probably doesn't need me to dent her ego anymore. So you're just gonna stand there? I'm sure messing up is super entertaining. Okay, whatever. Alright, Pearl cleans up the Pearl cleans up the mess while I busy myself with other things. Fair enough. Oh, we're in the middle of something. Hey, don't shout. Just give me a sec. Okie dokie. How can I? Uh oh. Oh, hi again. Alright. Actually, let's see what happens. If we fail to <coughs> grab the knife and get to her in time. Probably straight game over, but... Courtney! I'm gonna call the cops! Damn it. Yep, game over. I <laughs> love that expression on her face. <laughs> so we still get the... Uh, same choices. We'll see what happens here. Felt like what, uh, at least, dove, drove the, uh, There we go. Uh oh. We got bear trapped. So this is the same ending as before, okay. Hidden. Don't even fret it. I'm gonna come up with the best body hiding method ever. Not to brag, but my art teacher in elementary said I was a pleasure to have it in class. That'd be understandable. And she just uses that box right there. Honestly. Oh wait, no, Courtney's already in a box. Just literally disguised the box. You love to see it. And now things actually change. The piece I was missing was uh, when we try to help uh, Pearl with the box, we get that emotional conversation. Which is really, like, my favorite of the conversations with Pearl. With uh, Grizz being like, how uh, I didn't want to involve someone like you, like me? Someone so desperate to be found. And if that's not the core of what we know about Pearl, then goddamn. And anyway, it seems like things are changing now. It's okay. Even if you, even if you give them to him, I can... You can shut up. You've already done enough. I can't, if you trust me, I can... Okay. You shut up now, unless... Unless you want to join Courtney. Damn it. Whatever. What's it gonna be? Alright. Alright, here's the keys. What? Seriously? No goofs or gaps? You let Pearl go now. God, when was the last time you showered? Gross. The keys? Are they really? Oh, oh man. 
You two are so freaking dead. When I got here and call the cops on you, then you'll... Um, okay. <laughs> Don't ignore the damsel in distress. Oh, goddamn! You! I got bear trapped. You shoved me into the bear trap. Damn, good work. Oh, gee, is that praise? For me? It's my lucky day. Whoa! You watch it with that lame stain. I'll freaking kill you. Look out! Heep, you hatch it! Damn, guess taking him out won't be easy. A little hurt, but give me a sec with him and, uh... No, wait a second. I've got a way better way of dealing with this. Come on! Don't ignore me! I'll kill you for what you did to Courtney. Do you hear me? You... They'll all know what you did. What you did to... Oh, God. Oh. Okay, this place sells gas, right? I mean, it is a gas station. And lighters. Gas and lighters. Can you get those? Quickly. Why don't you... I can't even hold two items at once. <laughs> Why not? Store policy. I think we can ignore that rule for now, okay? Alright, here we go! Lighters. Gas. One final game over. I'm gonna get this game over. Most of them are just various uh, fail states, but... No, he took too long! And now Brandum is... Okay. So Brandum sneaks out. Brandum lame stain. Perfect. Now it's just a matter of spreading this around, and then... Alrighty, I think we're set for Soren. Just need to be careful that we don't blow up alongside it. <laughs> we don't light it in here, obviously. Do it once you get outside. Ah, you're, you're right, for sure. Let's let's go, then. Let's count down, okay? Three. Two, just throw it. Okay, okay. Seriously, not <laughs> the fucking diving. Wow. Brain Dump's probably super dead, isn't he? Probably. That upgrades you from serial killer assistant to killer, so I guess congrats are in order. Not serial killer, though? It was only one guy, so no. Huh, you got a point. Shit. No, 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 no. What is it? My baby! My guitar! Never put it back in my case after putting all the traps in there! Oh, I could just throw up. This sucks! Ah, uh, there, there. If it's any, if it's any comfort, uh, I'm probably never getting my hands back on that hatchet. Oh, gee, you're right. Guess I get to share a deeply traumatizing loss with my favorite person! <laughs> it almost makes it worth it! <laughs> Quotes, I just have to stop and screenshot. Yippee! I'm still really bummed, actually. I figured. Understandable. You know all that stuff I said about not being able to hide a body? I didn't really account for completely destroying it as an option. Things just work out that way sometimes. Hmm. We should probably not stick around. Hey, Grizz. We're gonna need to find and figure out a better name for you to call me than that. What you gonna do now? I'm freshly unemployed and, well, no longer hidden, right? Something like that. Well, I don't- well, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Worst thing in the world or not, it's inconvenient right now. Didn't you kind of want that, though? Hmm? I mean, going into the city is like hiding a tree in a forest, sure. You're still gonna be per perceived a lot more by people than if you were toughened out in the middle of nowhere. And maybe, maybe too much attention isn't ideal, especially for someone like you. Being perceived by those closest to you. That's good, right? At least, hey, I want to believe it's good. Hmm. Hey, Grizz? Yeah? Do you want to join my band for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And here we go, there's our best end. It seems like our three main endings are, uh... Brandon kills Pearl. We kill Brandon. And go on with our lives. We have, uh... We kill Brandon. This oh my god. Hello, Duncan! We are... Death of Venus. Oh my god, it's literally a fucking Duncan. <laughs> woo, yeah, woo. Saying it excitedly under her breath. <laughs> very, very, very pumped to be performing live here today. We'll be giving you the show of a lifetime. Now, drum roll for our very new member on drums. The Bear. <laughs> okay, that was an amazing outcome. We certainly, uh... <laughs> We're gonna say, that, that was adorable. That was absolutely adorable. In as many of, as much a way as, uh, thinking, <laughs> as much a way as a game with this premise can be. It was adorable. Ach. Yeah, I'm thinking in the end. This is certainly the best possible outcome. I mean, Pearl is a killer now. And in a, in a, in a sense, Grizz does not want to be a killer. So after cleaning up this little unfortunate incident, uh... <laughs> ultimately, what, what we get out of this is uh, a bit of understanding. Pearl gets someone who understands her, and we get someone who is at least uh, sympathetic to our desire to. Stay out of trouble? Does Grizz want to stay out of trouble? It is, uh... Difficult to say, but... Because the perception of the, the story beat that we got early on was, uh... Grizz, uh... Grizz... First few kills were accidents. The next few were not. And yet Grizz still chose to come to the city and try to hide. And yet Grizz still wound up killing Courtney early in the morning. So, these things happen. It remains to be seen. If more people will turn up dead, if Pearl will be upgraded into a serial killer, I don't know. But it's just still adorable. And with this... We have... we, And with this, it is time for me to bury the hatchet into the serious Spooktober visual novel jam. It was a blast. I sure, I sure enjoyed the ride, the, the series of games that we got to play. And... Will this be a regular thing? I don't know, because it was a lot of... A lot of work. In a stressful month already, but... I'd very much like to at least... Make it somewhat regular, and... Of course... There's still a good bit that I want to, uh... Come back to eventually.
from this year's jam. But there's still a lot of good stuff that I didn't get to play in the jam. Check out the links. Check out the uh, games. Check out the creators. There's so much else to discover on itch.io. Give it a go. This has been Barry the Hatchet. And I will see you next time. Until then, until then, I thank you for watching.